Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Wi-Fi Sci-Fi 2002. Thanks for the suggestion, Wi-Fi Sci-Fi. You asked, why do roosters have that red thing on their heads? If you've ever seen a rooster strutting around like he owns the place, you've definitely noticed that big, red, floppy thing sitting right on top of his head. Is it a built-in fashion statement? A weird chicken antenna? A leftover from some poultry-themed costume party? Today, we're diving deep into the fabulous and surprisingly functional world of rooster anatomy to find out exactly what that red thing is, what it does, and why it matters. We're breaking it down right here on Explaining Everything. First things first, that red thing has a name. It's called a comb. No, not because roosters use it to fix their feathers in the mirror every morning, although that would be incredible, but because that's the official term for that fleshy crest growing out of the top of their heads. There are different types of combs, by the way. Single, rose, pea, walnut, chickens really went all in on variety. But most roosters you'll see rocking that iconic bright red number have the single comb, which looks like a jagged slice of tomato stuck to their forehead. Roosters also have red dangly bits under their beaks, called wattles. And together, the comb and wattles create what is essentially the chicken equivalent of a flashy suit and loud tie combo. Bold impossible to ignore, and sending a very specific message. Here's the honest truth about that flamboyant headpiece. It's all about the ladies. That comb is nature's version of a dating profile. The bigger and redder it is, the more attractive the rooster looks to nearby hens. Scientists call this sexual selection, and in chickens, comb size is like a built-in billboard that screams, I'm healthy, I'm strong, and I'm ready to father some top-tier baby chicks. In other words, to a hen, a rooster with a big bright comb is basically the George Clooney of the barnyard. He's got the genes, he's got the style, and he's probably got an attitude. Roosters with puny, pale combs. They don't stand a chance. It's like showing up to prom in cargo shorts. So when a rooster struts around with his comb flopping dramatically in the wind, he's not just looking silly, he's turning heads, and he knows it. The comb isn't just for showing off. It's also a legit signal of a rooster's health. Because the comb is filled with blood vessels, it reacts to what's going on inside the rooster. If he's healthy and full of testosterone, the comb stays big, firm, and bright red. If he's sick, dehydrated, or just not doing well, the comb can go pale, shrink, or droop like a party balloon on day three. So hens aren't just into combs because they're pretty. They've evolved to recognize that a good-looking comb means good genes, a strong immune system, and solid chances of survival for any future chicks. Basically, it's like dating someone with great hair and health insurance, and it's not just the hens who pay attention. Roosters size each other up by their combs, too. A large comb can intimidate rivals and help a rooster hold his rank in the pecking order. Yes, that's a real term. And yes, it's all about dominance. We've covered the romance angle, but that's not all the comb has going for it. Believe it or not, it also helps roosters stay cool. Roosters don't sweat. Can you imagine? 
tiny sweatbands, little Gatorades. No, instead, they regulate body temperature through exposed skin, especially the comb and wattles. Blood flows through those fleshy bits and cools as it passes near the surface, helping to keep the rooster's internal temp in check. So while the comb is out there flashing its feathers for the ladies, it's also working overtime as a built-in cooling system. Stylish and functional, like wearing a scarf that's also a fan. In hot weather, this feature becomes extra important. That's why chickens in warmer climates often have bigger combs to help release more heat. It's biology's way of saying this rooster might be hot, but he's not overheating. Hens do have combs, but theirs are usually smaller and less dramatic. Think low-key, minimalist headwear versus full Vegas showgirl. Why? Because hens don't need to advertise. They're not competing for mates the same way roosters are. While a hen's comb can still be a sign of her health and maturity, it doesn't have to do the same level of attention grabbing. She's not out here trying to win anyone over with her forehead. So in the world of poultry fashion, roosters are the peacocks and hens are just trying to get through the day without being flirted with by every red-headed dude in the coop. So there you have it. The red thing on a rooster's head isn't just weird poultry decoration. It's a badge of honor. It tells hens he's healthy, scares off rival roosters, and keeps him from cooking himself in the midday sun. All that packed into one bizarre, fleshy head flap. If you enjoyed this and learned something new about those flappy red flesh thing on a rooster's head, don't forget to like, subscribe, and bask on the majestic rooster's comb. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.